All right, let's go ahead and uh, create this uh, draft drawing, uh, this draft from, from this part that I have. And so to do this, let's go ahead and go up to the application menu, or button, I'm sorry, hover over until you have ISO draft. And let's just open that one up. And then now we're going to come up here to, well, sorry, before that, let's go back up to this application menu. And we need to change something really fast. We need to change the projection angle. As you notice here, here it's defaulted into, into first because we're using an isometric um, draft, which is does not use uh, U.S. customary units, but or U.S. customary like standards. And third projection, right? Remember, is U.S. customary, so we'll go ahead and switch it into third by just clicking that little button right there. Hit OK, and let's come up here to View Wizard. Click on that. Select your part. You might need to navigate to it a little bit. Next. Hit custom. And this is, you know, if your part is kind of oriented in a strange way, um, this is where you can where you can actually change it. So this is going to be whatever you set this this to is going to be considered like the front of the actual drawing. So since I oriented it in the correct way, um, I'll just leave it as is and then we'll go ahead and you know, be able to uh, create it no problem. So as you can see here, um, you can choose, you know, the different types of um, views that you want. And I'm just going to go ahead and just select all of these just for, you know, it's easier for you guys just to be able to, to delete things. Um, and yeah. So, okay, everything looks pretty good here. Um, this is a good isometric drawing, so I'll go ahead and delete the left view. And then the isometric drawings are on the, the, you know, on the corners here, here, and here. So let's just go ahead and delete all of these guys. Not all of them. We'll, we'll have to keep one, obviously. So we have the top, front, and right side. And so we have this bottom one we can go ahead and delete. Now, if you notice, go ahead and select the front view. You can see how these guys are... Um, are you know they, they they're going to keep alignment with each other um, you know that's very important that we don't get these out of alignment whereas the isometric we can make this gigantic and um, oh sorry you have to scale it we can make this gigantic and it doesn't matter because isometric remember we can just um, we can just you know that you know it's not important that that stays in alignment but for the the two-dimensional you know for the for the orthogonal planes, it means a lot. It's very important. So I'm going to come over here, and because this is kind of tiny, I'm going to increase the uh, scale factor here just a little bit. Okay, now let's go ahead and, and do what you want me to show you, actually. And this is how to, you know, first we've got to create a cutting plane. So come over to this little button right here, cutting plane. Click on it. Come down, and you notice that as you drag your cursor over, it's going to highlight different things. So we want to highlight the front view, and it's going to kick us into the cutting plane um, little option thing. So we want to, you know, come center with that. So as you can see here, um, I found the midpoint on this part right here. So I click up, and then I can find the, you know, the center right here. Click it hit escape, close out of this little option, and then it just, you know, once you, you know, wants to know where you want to set it, I'll do this way, that sounds good, and then we'll click the uh, section view right here, click section, highlight over this, and then just go ahead and drag it out, and uh, there you go, just go ahead and print this out, and you'll be good to go.